Gray Matter City. It's getting terrible looking now. Like I said, rain is, might catch us. But you can see it's been bad here. It's pushed all this grass up. Where? Oh, I don't know. Some kind of white thing sticking up in a buoy. It might be a, might be a catamaran or something washed off the beach. Look at this grass. That's how high the waves came up. There'll be a lot of dune action down that way, Beaver said from yesterday. This, this place is hot, it's got some sinkers. I'm not sure what we'll find. Stand by. We've got a nice cut right through here, Danny. Mumbles man has got his wetsuit on. I got uh, sneakers on. Stand by, we'll see what's happening here. 14. Fourteen in China. I got thinking I don't like it now. see what it is a fine fine ticket look at that isn't that nice 14 eight, seven eight scoop deep well I've dug a pull tab ring a penny and now I got a solid nine Solid nine out of the ground. More, more aluminum. Budweiser. Piece of Budweiser. Isn't that a fine ticket? I got a penny, so lots of aluminum. He said he got five dimes if you didn't hear him. He thinks this is a dime. Twenty-five to twenty-seven, he said. I don't think I'm gonna get down to that. What what that thing in the water looks like is a sunk catamaran with one of the one of the pontoons sticking up. Dime's gone. Bummer. My headphones is up. Bucktail head. With part of the hook. You can't see the hook for the hair. I started not to dig this. It was a scratchy two. I put it in all metals mode. I could hear a little better. And it read some in the minus, it would jump back to two. Very scratchy. So I said, what the hell? I'll dig it up just to see what it is. And that's what it was. To dig or not to dig. Very interesting find right there. Of course, knowledge goes. Knowledge for me, that is.
pretty good signal right here. The waves run me off of it. If I can find it again. There it is. Actually, it's a little uh, scratchy now, 15, 16. I don't think I'm going to mess with it. It's too close to the water for my feet. I got another scratchy one. It's a piece of gray matter. Now, this is why I was scratchy. Got a bunch of iron hooked onto the side of it. Gray matter. Eleven, fourteen, and a two sometimes, he said. That's about eight scoops he's got off of it now. Headphones are going completely. You gotta just listen to the rig or machine. The switch is bad in his headphones, I think. He said that anyway. I can hear it. I don't know if y'all can. I doubt y'all can hear it. It's a good sound. Stand by. 25 scoops later, it's still there. 12, 14. We're going down the river now. Leave that alone. We got two targets. Twenty-five, twenty-six, probably a dime. And here, solid thirteen. Let's take the 13 first. Choppy now out of the ground. 13 to 15. Nothing. I see it though. Little piece of lead, little egg sinker like. 13. All right, let's go see what 25 is. I just felt some raindrops on my little head. Thought I had it out. I 
Damn. Stand by a minute. I don't know how deep that is, but it's 15 scoops. Got it out. Looks like a dime. A 25. There goes the neighborhood. And set. I'm gonna make my way back to the truck. But that's deep right there, buddy. Recovery three. God, that's gonna kill me. You'd be two days covering it up. Good gracious me. Uh oh. Uh oh, another ticket. Seventeen. First scoop. I like that. Gray matter. Gray matter. Gray matter. I like. I like it. Gray matter. Uh oh, another ticket. Or 20. Like oh, we have penny. Eighteen out of the ground. It's like gray matter to me. It is gray matter. Hey! Gray matter. Something else right here. I thought. In. All right. Catamaran. Oh, one pontoon. That's a bad sign. Well, the rain's running us home. We got in about 45 minutes. You watch the gig masters videos you see him and jimmy were on a hot goose yesterday they found more coins unbelievable jimmy found a silver ring fedex jimmy my buddy he's with the gig they had a big banner day digging jimmy was ctx and then gig was noxon i think the knock one on coins. I'll get back to you. If it if it's the headphones or if it's the uh, it's I'll raining hard it. enough just to be miserable. You can see it's two thirty two. I'll be home in about three or four minutes. I gotta take a shower, shave, clean up. I take my leader to a city council meeting. Me meeting starts at six, but she's got to be there at five o'clock to sign up. So she's speaking. Our neighborhood, our neighborhood here is having a controversy about short-term rental homes. 
Uh, most of the homes in this area, if they're rented, they're rented for a year at a time, you know, like normal, normal rentals. But certain parts of Virginia Beach, down by Sandbridge especially, they live on short-term rentals. For summer rentals, a week, a month, eight days, three days, whatever you want. But there's a controversy brewing in our neighborhood, and I'll give you an example as I head home here. That house right there, you see it's a nice house. Family lived there for about 30 years. And then they got old and went away. I don't know what happened to them. Then the kids came in and built a brand spanking new house right behind there. So they rent that house out, short-term rentals. And a lot of the neighbors don't like it because a lot of the short-term rental people are younger generation and they want to party and stay up all night long and drink and throw beer cans around and pee in the neighborhood and some of the neighbors are upset because they think it's devaluing their homes. I don't know. It's not my uh, home so I'm just uh, I'm hanging around you know I'm just listening. Now that's Chris's house right there that's where I'm, the Rancho Max is. We go down here you remember this really nice big yellow house that used to sit right here? Well, the guy tore that down. I think I showed you already. And that's supposed to be a big rental house. I don't know about that either, but that's what the neighbors are upset about. I'll get back to you on that later. Well, here's a 45 minute roundup. I mean, nut. Nice aluminum. One penny, two dimes, the bottom of a fishing jig, the head of a fishing jig, four pieces of gray matter, oh this baby one, five pieces of gray matter. Got a bleak in it. We can do better tomorrow maybe. Been a lot of conversation, email text wise the last seven eight hours about bottle caps if you watch the detective comparisons video for today I think he posted it today my buddy Carter you better get a grip on it seems we're doomed for bottle caps You going home to soon, I hope, old buddy, old pal? Doomed, I say, the bottle cap finding, best bottle cap finding machine ever. <laughs> Ain't that something? Stand by, I'm going to get ready for this video. I'm going to find the Momo's man stuff here. Stand by, I'll get back to you. All right, there's a Mumbles man's nut. He got five dimes and two pennies and six pieces of gray matter. It's raining right now still. I think tomorrow's gonna be promising. And believe it or not, we may have a help on the bottle caps. Just came in 10 minutes ago in an email. I haven't even looked at it yet, but it's from my buddy, Bill, in California. I'm going to check it out in a minute and see how it works tomorrow. Pass, I'll pass that along later, if that, see how it does. See you tomorrow.